Seeds were there in our nature, that's why we have created the poetry. Now he's giving the reasons. So the first thing that he said, he says that by nature, by nature, man is, man is an imitative animal. Man is imitative animal. siblings, we start imitating our parents and in this way we are imitative animal. That's why we have created the poetry. That's the second thing what he says. Man by nature, the second point, man by nature takes pleasure. Man by nature takes pleasure in the work of in the work of imitation man by nature takes pleasure in the work of imitation right what does it mean it means we take pleasure in the works of imitation. Here he did not say we take pleasure in imitation. He said, in the work of imitation, we take pleasure in the work of imitation. How? With? How? Don't be in dry poetry. Poetry is work of imitation. We enjoy it. Even when the Something becomes the work of poetry for so that thing which seems very ugly to us, which we cannot like in real life. But when it becomes the work of imitation, we start liking that thing. We see pleasure in that thing. Getting it? The work of imitation is a source of pleasure for human beings. Right? If even, even we do enjoy those things which in our normal life, in our daily life, we cannot enjoy. It. But when they become the work of imitation, we start enjoying them. Let's take the example of let's say that there is some very bad thing happens. <coughs> death of someone. Hmm? Death of someone. If that thing is there, a guard for it at someone's home. God forbid, of some very close one. Will we ever enjoy that thing? Not at all. But if we see the same thing in a movie, <laughs> even though we uh, feel a uh, pain for those them, we feel pity for them, but even then we enjoy it. We enjoy that pity. In normal situation, we could never be able to do that. But when the same thing becomes a uh, like a work of imitation, we start enjoying it. If we look at the if we we 
are going somewhere and we just come across an accident. We see the accident of someone, blood is there, people are wounded. Will we ever enjoy that thing? And then the same thing would be there in a drama. What do you do? You will feel pity for them. We will feel the pity for the people who have got accident, but we will enjoy that pity, the feeling of pity. We will get pleasure from those feelings. Yes or no? Yes. So, by this way, he says that men take pleasure in the work of imitation. That's why means the seed is there. Yes? yes. That's why he has. Uh, created the poetry. The poetry has taken birth. Third point, what he says. He says that the work of imitation, the work of imitation aids aids Work of imitation aids to our to our to our understanding to our and this understanding it increases our understanding <coughs> it increases the work of art increases our understanding. It aids to our understanding. The work of art aids the work of aids to our understanding. Yeah. You can write in your own words, like I mean, it is in there. So what does it mean? He says that work of imitation it aids, it, it, it increases our understanding. Can you guess how? Yeah. What is there? Like it aids to our understanding in this way that let me give you the example. For example, there is someone, as I said, we have like we discussed this thing too. Someone is suffering from some pain. We will never be able to feel the pain of that person. Right? We will ne never be able to, but if we see in some work of imitation the same person, such character who is feeling, uh, who is going through that uh, sense and feeling and whatsoever, so what will happen, we will start relating and you will start understanding the thing. We will start understanding the feeling of that person who is sitting next to me. Yes or no? By watching some uh, the imita work of imitation. Even the different things, like when we uh, when we write the work of imitation and we go through the work of imitation, so many such things are there which we could never be able to understand in our life. But when we look at in the, that work of imitation, whether it is drama, whether it is poetry, whatsoever, so we start, it, 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 it aids into our knowledge, it aids into our understanding. We start understanding the things more better way. Getting me. Yes. So this was the third point. That why this, uh, this poetry aids into understanding, understanding of us. Madam, no, in the house, two sati, two sati, bakery, go to the house, 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 go Facilitate करने के लिए नहीं करते हैं बस इसका सिर्फ ज़मीन है होती है right 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 तो मेरे पास ज़मीन है लेकिन पैसे नहीं है right 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 अच्छा जी तो what is what is does basically it gives insights within the different thing it gives the work of imitation gives insight insight in what insight into different circumstances insight into different type of situations Hmm? Which we could not understood if we would not have been uh, looking the work of imitation. Achha, what is the last thing he said? He says that 
it is natural it is natural for a man it is natural for a man to take to take pleasure to take pleasure in rhythm in rhythm and melody right what he said he said that it is natural for men to take pleasure in rhythm and melody why is it like simple thing in the like start of sarva uh, said that when he when he starts singing in front of a child what he does he just stops crying and start listening yes or no you keep on saying so many things in front of him he will not pay attention but the time you start singing some uh, rhyme even then you add melody and rhythm in your uh, speech the child stop crying and start listening to you he get attentive to you yes or no so melody and this melody and rhythm is in our nature the child no one has told the child what the rhythm is what the melody is but whenever he listens something which is melodious which has rhythm in it he starts paying attention Yes. So the same thing, this he he uses as a reason that this melody, this rhythm, even when we go up, we always find pleasure in rhythm and melody. If we don't go for the music, let's take the example of recitation. The person who like uh, recites in more rhythmic way, like we take pleasure in that thing, we get attracted to that thing. Yes or no? So this melody and rhythm is there in our nature too. By nature we like it. We take pleasure from it. So that's why what is this rhythm and melody is a part of what? Poetry. Yes or no? This rhythm and melody is a part of this text. Poetry. So what is there when we do? And it is there in our nature. So we can put this melody and rhythm of ancient poetry, or poetry is made. Yes. So this is what he says. These are the four reasons he gives about the origin and birth of poetry. What he says? He says that this is something natural. The seed is there in our nature, right? That's why we have created the poetry. That he. Give the reason, right? What the reasons were? First reason was initiative. We are initiative by nature, so we had created. Second was Before talk about the growth and development 
of this uh, poetry, again come to the journal Plastia as total. What we have talked about journal Plastia since one point we have discussed. What was that? We have talked about this thing when we have talked about the journal philosophy of him, that so his journal philosophy was that whatever is created by man, the seed was there. Yes. See, when we come to the journal philosophy again, another point which we generally believe in. One thing he always says that that from the very early time, from the very early time, the poetry is divided into two classes. What are the two classes? Serious and non-serious. Huh. Serious and non-serious, basically. So he said it has taken birth where somewhere in the 
Greek times. Right? In Greek times, in Greeks, we, uh, you know, people have gone to the poetry. No one has done poetry. Poetry? Poetry is a subject. No, sir, I just got a little bit of poetry and wrote a different thing. Actors, Revenant, and stuff. Actually, when we talk about the poetry, so mostly it is believed, rather it is like the history, that poetry has taken place in the form of hands. When we, when we praise the God. Yeah, I'm 
lungs and started using the hands. Getting me. So that stage was the infancy stage of poetry. Now the point is clear. Yes. Yes? Yes. Achha. Then he said youth care. What was the youth of poetry then? He said that youth of poetry was there when the epic cast. Epic points. What was in infancy? In infancy they were concerned with the guard. They used to praise the God of us forever. Huh? Only the poetry was limited to that very thing. <laughs> then when the youth came means what happened in the youth? In youth we are like very vigorous, we are very energetic. Yes or no? Yes. So in youth what happens? Epic came on the horizon. horizon. Now what is epic? In epic they used to praise their hero. They used to <laughs> Uh, talk about their heroes. They used to uh, talk about the deeds of bravery, deeds of their heroes. Yes? Their heroes are God's even. It is epic basically is a long narrative poem. It is a long narrative poem in which what is narrated in which the deeds of some heroes are narrated. Heroic deeds of gods are narrated. Get it? Yes or no? Yes, Islamic philosophy, not. No, not, not, not. Epic, have you gone to fair right now? Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's start if you have time. I said, so what is there? Let me say. What is there? There is, there is a story. There is a story of Satan. That how Satan had like, um, had got fight with the God. How he disobeyed the God. He was thrown on the earth. Then why he started like uh, a rebellion against God? How he had like uh, made the, the people like uh, stray from their right path and whatsoever. So means a whole complete story is there. That is epic. Anything. So when a story, the whole story about the gods, the good deeds of some heroes, they are all heroes, the Greek heroes, the Roman heroes, whoever. When they talk about their story, that is epic. So that that time, according to Aristotle, was the youth of poetry when they started creating the epic. Point there. I said here there were two types of epic. Epic was serious and non-serious both. Serious epic and comic epic. So the people who were interested in serious deeds, who were interested in the serious aspect of the men, they wrote the serious epic, who were not, they wrote the comic epic, the division of poetry, right? Achha. The same thing, the serious point, the, whoever wrote the serious thing, like uh, there were serious poetry uh, uh, epics and who were not interested in serious, in serious aspect of life, so they wrote the comic epic. Is the point clear? The thing was same, epic, it was long narrative poem, but the subject matter was non-serious. Is the point clear? Achha. Then what happened? According to him, it came to its maturity. <coughs> and in maturity, drama appeared. According to him, drama is the perfect form of poetry. Right? Drama is the perfect form of poetry. And maturity, what we do? When we get mature, what we start doing? We start doing the mature things. Hmm? The 
same thing happens that when the poetry came to maturity, drama appeared on the horizon. Yes? Yes. And drama is the highest, according to him, it is the highest form of the poetry. It is very mature form of the poetry. And after that, after maturity, what happens? After maturity, what happens? Decline starts. starts. Then there is no chance for any other development. Yes or no? Yes. So the same thing he relates to the dra uh, poetry. He says that drama was the peak, drama was the height of uh, poetry and after that decline would have started. It means no new thing has been produced. Is there any new thing produced after drama? No. In the poetry, drama was the highest point of poetry and after that, decline started. Getting me? Achha. So here what he says, he says, is the youth is better than infancy, yes or no? Yes. So, what was there? The, that very era, where the epic has produced, this era of poetry was better than the, the first era where only the hands were produced. That came the drama, so it means it was better than the epic. <laughs> yes? And then, of course, the decline has started. It means it will come to that point. Because nothing new has been produced. Nothing new. It was the peak. Now, nothing new has been produced. Is it quite clear? Yes? Yes. The development and growth of poetry is clear. Hmm? Yes. Achha, what is it? <coughs> he said that after those Greek after the Greek people, Euripides was the Greek dramatist, right? Euripides. After this man, drama has started like drama did not see any further development after this man. Euripides. D-I-S. Spelling I'm telling you, just don't write there. E-U-R-I-P-I-D-E-S. Don't write it. I'm telling you the spelling. Just write the spelling. E-U-R-I-P-I-D-E-S. Right? Achha, it is I forgot it. I forgot it. E U E U R I P I D E S Right? After this person he sees the decline. According to the decline of poetry, decline of drama has started. No further improvement have been seen after that. Right. So this was about the <coughs> there was a like decline of drama. There was a decline of drama. Like no nothing new has been produced. Like there's no uh, like no room has left for improvement. So when there is no room for improvement, so I, I, I already like decline automatically decline will start. There's also kind of the, the peak of drama. <coughs> Poetry, this stage. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, after the decline started. After that, produced after that. It would be like known as some standard. Achha ji. So he, he called drama, what he called it, he called it in the highest form of poetry. Right. Now come to the drama. No, we have to do it because we have. Uh, 
uh, we have like uh, wasted two classes, if you remember. No, we have to complete it. Ajiji. So what he says about the development of drama? When we are having the next class? Tomorrow? Okay, okay, okay. Now come to the development of drama. This is our fifth week. Is this our fifth week or fourth week? Fourth week. Yeah. Oh, okay, fine. Fifth. Sure? Fifth? Okay, fine. Fine. Fourth. 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 Okay, fine. Whatever. Okay, fine. So now we have come to fourth week. Okay, fine. The development of drama. How the drama has developed. Now let's see. Drama, which is the highest form of poetry according to Aristotle, how it has got developed, right? It has also seen different stages. And this thing is called, drama is called the most perfect form of literary art. Drama is considered as the most perfect form of literary art of literary art literary literature what the Aristotle says like he finds he finds the like roots of this uh, drama where in the in the Greece, right? Greece. <coughs> you find its root in the Greece. As what he what he says that he like what the thing is drama has started basically with the Related to Dionysus. He was a god. Dionysus was the god. <coughs> he was the god. They believe that this God, when he was killed, so he came back to the life again, he came to the world. So, in the season of spring, once in a year, in the season of spring, they used together.
To celebrate means coming back to the world. To celebrate like this, like death and then again coming back to the, this event. This event of this coming back to the earth. Getting me? If you trace back like the stars, the Christians also do believe that the Jesus is alive and like when you are killed, so you again came into life whatsoever. So this is something like that. Right? So they believe that the person, uh, his God, the Damascus, he has come back to the life and they used to gather once in a year in the season of spring to celebrate this event. The event of is coming back, right? Is it in there? Yes. In this event, what, what they used to do, they used to celebrate, they used to like, uh, they used to eat uh, bread, piece of bread and wine and they used to think that they are eating the, the meat, a uh, flesh of that God and they are drinking his blood now. But when they some religious uh, problems, right? At that occasion, when they used to meet, they had this type of festival when they used to meet. So what they used to do, they sing. Huh? They used to sing about <coughs> dinosaurs. Getting? They used to sing as well as they sing with the gestures, with the movement.
dialogue has started between chorus and the leader. That the leader of the chorus has separated, right? And after that, dialogue has started. Now, if I mark the scene that only chorus is singing, chorus is dancing, it was not like that. Now the leader has got separated. So now there started the dialogue between the leader and the chorus. Really? Now chorus used to ask the question and leader used to give the answer of the question. Do I pass about the dialogue? Get it? who used to dance there, who used to sing there. In the first stage, only chorus was there. Means group of people were there who used to sing. In the second stage, leader separated from it. Now the chorus used to ask question, leader was replied. So dialogue had started. Achha. Then comes the third stage. Third stage. This is not this name. Half stage. Half stage. right? He was again another playwright. What he did? He introduced a second actor. In the fourth stage, second actor was introduced. In 
Ether, one electrobarrel introduced now. In fourth stage, second ether is introduced. Now the ether will become two. Right? So what is it did? It did it, it increased the magnitude of the drama and the dramatic part was increased. Dramatic part was increased. Dramatic and choral part. What does it mean? Choral part means what the chorus used to do. The singing part. Dramatic part, the dialogue. That thing. Right? So as the second actor was introduced, automatically dramatic part was increased. Dramatic part has become more important. He made dramatic part more important than choral part. Than choral part. And then after that, secondly, what he did more, he introduced the mask. Mask, okay? The actors started wearing masks on their faces. He introduced masks, dresses, shoes, Right? A proper drama means, huh? Masks are started using this.